I am a book reader now. What is happening? I made a mission to read at least a few pages of a book every single day. And I don't know why I went on a tangent and I bought literally these many books this year. Uh, some of them are from Amazon. Some of them I got from a local bookstore. So yeah, let's go and read it out. Read it out. I wish this video was sponsored by some book company, but it is not. So let's go. The first one is The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I took this with me in Casol and I read half of it, but then I started rereading it. I love this book. Very, very easy to read and you can skim through it very, very easily. I'm currently halfway through it, which is also amazing. So yeah, love it. I have heard so many things about this book. This is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I have heard insane amount of things. Again, more on the business and networking kind of side. And Dale Carnegie is one of the very in-depth, like really, really good authors who provide insane amount of information. So yeah, I haven't read this, but it's on my to-do, to, to, <laughs> to read list. Next one I saw so many stories again here on YouTube as well. I watch Ankur Variku's video, so I had to get this one. This is Do Epic Shit by Ankur Variku. So I wanted to take that. I got these from a bundle in Amazon. They have these bundles available, so you get the book for cheaper, which is great. Then I got this as a gift, I think last year. Eki guy, I have read this multiple times. So yeah, I really like this one. I have completed this book. This is called as How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. Oh my God, you will need this. Like literally, if you are like an overthinker like me, you are gonna need that. And I have literally marked, like as you can see over here, I have literally taken notes from this book because it is such a good book. And yeah, I highly, highly recommend it to overthinkers like me. Next one is Beyond Sunshine by James Allen. Again, I haven't read it. I have skimmed through like the first few pages, but I want to read this. The next is a very recent one I got. This is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. Um, again, I've heard so many things about it from Instagram, from Pinterest. My friend actually read it and I've watched a couple of videos regarding money and they've said they learned all of it from this book. So I was like, you know what, let's just buy it. I finished this one halfway or like three quarter through. This is the four hour work week by Timothy Ferris. I have loved this book. Like there are so much, like what can we say, tidbits which this person has mentioned where you can escape the nine to five uh, and just live anywhere, which is like the greatest freedom. But but I still really wanted to know more about it. So I went ahead, I purchased the book and yeah, really, really good one. If you are into a 9 to 5, go get this one. How many times do I have to say this has been on the Pinterest, Instagram, everyone, every single person and their dog recommends this book. This is The Atomic Habits by uh, James Clear. Have read this book halfway through it, have heard so much things, have watched videos about it. So, I mean, yeah. There is a particular mention of a thing called as habit stacking is what I've used actually to read all of these books to get the get into the habit of reading books this year. So thank you so much James Clear because aapki wajah se at least I've gotten into the habit of reading books. And the next one is Think Straight. I've completely you know read it and I have also like taken notes as you can see over here. It's really really good. I absolutely love this one. Um, then the next one is 8 things to do when you are 20 which is by Debitosh Chatterjee and this one is by Darius Forox. So these were the insane amount of books which I have bought for myself this year. So these were the books I cannot wait to read. Honestly, the reason why I got this habit is only I would guarantee it to James Clear because he mentioned about this thing called as habit stacking where basically you stack your habit on top of something which you always do every single day and which happens to you very naturally so after brushing my teeth and sitting for breakfast i go ahead and take any book which comes to my mind and i start reading that this is called as habit stacking which i just learned in this so that's how i have developed the habit of reading books and i'm so happy because at least I'm away from my phone and my screen time is decreasing and it should decrease because it is alarming. Let me know if you would like for me to do more such book challenge kind of videos because I would really love them. Comment down below and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!